our national forest. Operation Full Court Press is focused specifically on clandestine marijuana grow operations in the Mendocino National Forest and the surrounding public lands. The Mendocino National Forest, as all of you know, is a jewel of our national forest system. It was first set aside as a forest reserve by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1907. At nearly a million acres, it is roughly the size of the entire state of Rhode Island and offers Californians a wealth of secluded forest land, panoramic mountain scenery, open meadows, and riverbanks in which to hike, camp, boat, fish, and otherwise enjoy this truly national treasure. However, today the Mendocino National Forest is under attack by drug traffickers. As residents of Mendocino, Lake, Tehama, Glen, Calusa, and Trinity Counties know all too well, visitors to the forest are increasingly intimidated by the prospect of armed drug traffickers and illegal cultivation sites. Most people here know not to go hiking in the Mendocino National Forest during the summer months because they are likely to encounter illegal drug operations. When I tell my counterparts around the country this fact, they're amazed that we can't do this and that everybody knows it who lives here. And in fact, I've warned people that are coming up here during the summer to be careful when they go hiking, and I'm sure all of you have done the same. The bottom line is this is an intolerable situation and it has to be stopped. And that's why you see here such a strong partnership between federal, state, and local law enforcement officials all working together to rid the Mendocino National Forest and its surrounding public lands of these illegal marijuana grow operations and the drug traffickers who are responsible for them. There are those who believe that growing marijuana is a harmless, peaceful activity in harmony with nature. The results of Operation Full Court Press so far show that this notion is, in a word, wrong. Law enforcement officers have recovered fertilizers, chemicals, pesticides, and even rat poison from marijuana grow operations in the forest. Moreover, many marijuana cultivation sites involve elaborate man-made dams, irrigation pipes, and the diversion of streams and other water resources, showing an utter and complete lack of disregard for the fragile ecosystem of plants and animals that call the Mendocino National Forest home. Operation Full Court Press is critically important, an operation we hope will bring, help bring an end to the illegal marijuana grow sites on public lands in California. One that demonstrates the collective power that law enforcement brings to help keep public lands safe places where people can relax and enjoy the beauty that nature has to offer. To date, as a result of Operation Full Court Press, local, state, and federal law enforcement officials have gone into 56 grow sites in six counties. They have seized more than 460,000 marijuana plants. They have seized more than three quarters of a ton of processed marijuana. The United States Attorney's Office for the Northern District of California and for the Eastern District of California have charged 25 people with a variety of federal offenses. We have seized 27 firearms. We've seized 11 vehicles. There have been 101 arrests total. Unfortunately, the cleanup operations have just begun. As I said, the drug traffickers that exploit our national forest do not clean up their mess. The California National Guard, the United States Forest Service are doing that with the help of dedicated volunteers from the High Sierra Volunteer Trail Crew. So far, those people that are cleaning up the mess left behind by the drug traffickers have removed 46,000 pounds of trash, 120 propane tanks, 116,000 feet of irrigation pipe, that's about 22 miles, two tons of fertilizer, they have 13 man-made dams that they need to eradicate and restore, and they've seized 57 and recovered 57 pounds of pesticides left behind.